the dishes. <laughs> Do you know people been coming on my page telling me not to sing the Dell show as happy as it makes me to do it. I wish I would listen to y'all. I wish I would let the devil steal my joy. Let me tell you something. Ah, this is, it's, I think it's been the lesson of the week, but it's so crazy that I just, because somebody, somebody came on my page yesterday. It was like, yo, you the worst host ever. Stop hosting, bro. And then I was like, oh, you in the best, you the best troll. But then I went back and I deleted the comment because I don't even want to get into the habit of like responding to, you know, all the like negative comments. I just want to like let it roll off my shoulder. I appreciate them for stopping by and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um... But this morning, I but anyway, yesterday when I did uh, read the comment, something I was I, I remember thinking to myself, "Are you ready?" Because you know, people who are a lot more popular and you know uh, have higher visibility, they have more like trolls and people come to their page. And I, I just remember being on uh, Tamron Hall's page, and she was like defending her what she do with her baby and I was just like why are you even responding to it and then now I'm I gotta tell myself the same thing why are you even responding to it and uh and uh and yeah why am I responding to it because I appreciate them so much for coming by because you gotta have people that you know if everybody likes you then you might not be uh well, I can't say you might not be popular, but, you know, people have controversy that have higher visibility. Even Oprah, I'll be seeing horrible reports on Oprah. Like, you know, I mean, so many, like, people that I, like, absolutely love, you know, something will come out about them because it's just, it is actually haters out there. And, you know, I often have to remind myself, it, it is, it's really not the hater. It is the enemy, which is, you know, for me, Satan and Satan really is a reflection of the thoughts. So I try to like not have the thoughts, but where I feel like I have to um, make sure that I don't have them the most is in the morning because in the morning I get up I think the Lord you know where I sleep at like the sun is like in direct angle so it's really like the sun will wake me up every morning and I just it's so gorgeous to look at like as soon as you open your eyes and I'll be like thank you so much Lord and then I'll think of some stuff and you know that I need to let go or like think of a p potential horrible situation and it's all of course made up in my mind and then I have to remind myself no, 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 Satan. I will not be taking those suggestions because those negative thoughts, they are literally just suggestions and I can like deny the suggestion. So it's like always about, you know, being protective of the day because in the morning when you get them, I do recognize that is Satan trying to steal my day. Like, you know, when you be thinking bad shit in the morning, oh my God, your whole day be messed up. And, um, no, I'm not, I'm just super duper not, I'm asking the Lord for a lot of shit and I gotta be happy to receive it. And, uh, and speaking of receiving, I went to, um, a friend of mine's like premiere last night. I feel like I'm like looking like this, like little person, um, at this angle, but I went to a friend of mine's like premiere last night. He had done eight episodes of this show and I'm talking about it was different and it was entertaining and I walked away just so happy because not only did I like enjoy his show and like you know just love when people like do things themselves because you know I've, I'm, I'm doing things myself and getting them on tv as well and getting pilot shot and um and uh but I was looking around. This was made me happiest. I was looking around at everyone in the room. People was like before when I was sitting down in the seats, um, this um, this dude was introducing this other dude. Like they both look famous, you know, in, in L.A. Everybody's famous. Um, but, you know, you might not even know who they are. But like the, some, you know, then you look him up and you be like, he has 10 million followers on that. You know, so everybody be like having a like spout of fame. And that is what was making me so happy yesterday is because um, 
I was just looking around the room and how like successful everybody was. You know, this one dude was like, I think I saw you on Shameless. Then my other friend walked in. She, you know, been doing her thing and everybody was just doing it. Like everybody, everybody has like some sort of, you know, it, it just it just reminded me, and I'm going to remind you, that there is more than enough out here. Like, there is never, basically, any door you want to go in, you when it's good, tell it to the Lord, and he will open that joint for you. He will open it fast. And you know, however fast you believe he'll open it is however fast he'll open it for you. Because the, this, and this is like, you know, it was like all young, black affluent, vibrant, I mean, I'm talking about these are self-made people, and these are not even, like, some of the people that I, that was even in the show, and that I regularly work with, they weren't even there, so I'm like, it's even, it's just, it's just going around, and I'm just so happy to be in the circle of go around, because, <laughs> because, you know, um, that's what you're out here for. You're out here for it to go around. And speaking of going around, everywhere I've been going to is um, people been like, you got reps yet? You got reps yet? You got reps? Who's your representation? Who's your representation? And like I said in a previous video, I don't have like actual tangible representation, but I have all these good relationships that come along and make sure I am through like every door and you know sometimes you can look at other people with you know representation and they're doing all these things but then i had to you know being in that room last night just reminded me like even when you got reps you still won't be in every room like that opportunity is exclusive for them and you have your opportunities over here and it just keeps constantly reminds me that the Lord is my agent. I shall not want. And I am literally in every single door that I want to be in without the wraps. So, hey, cousin. <laughs> this is my cousin right here. The most amazing baker ever. Clarice, let him see your beautiful no, face. Right <sighs> let me tell you something. I have not had maternal instincts all my life but just living with my family like you know I have not been the person to be like what I want this for them you know when I see people love they like love their child and they like give up their career and they want you know um something more for their child I have not had that in me because I've been everybody's child like I'm my only child but like when I see my cousin like how beautiful she is I'd be like you know what we gonna get you some modeling stuff you know I'd be said she's a cake baker and I'd be sending her videos out to like her cakes and stuff out to my friends like use her for the part like now I have like straight like cake arrogance when I go other places like when people have stuff baked I'll be like oh, oh no 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 that's all right I don't need to taste that because I live with the the number one baker of all time so guys please get that second hand cake away from me um but you know it's like growing and feeling good and that is what it's about no matter what the critics say so guess what i'm gonna be saying from now on every time you see the video the show! <laughs> <laughs> bye